Just when you thought you had seen it all in the octagon, we are graced with the presence of one Cassius Clay, Muhammad Ali, taking his act to mixed martial arts. I mean, he's so pretty, John. And I always uh, says, I'm so pretty. He looked pretty inside the boxing ring. He intends to do the same thing inside the octagon tonight. This guy is such a great athlete. He talks what he's going to do, but he also delivers. Olympic gold medalist, boxing heavyweight, light heavyweight world champion. He has done it all. A true icon in combat sports makes his UFC debut tonight. And to the surprise of some, he told us in the fighter meeting he's got an appetite for the wrestling stuff. So we'll see if Ali can mix it up a little bit tonight. Happy to have him here in the UFC. of all time, Muhammad Ali enters the octagon with his mind set on one thing tonight, that UFC championship belt. So here he is, one of the consensus greatest of all time, the newly minted UFC heavyweight champion, John Bones Jones. And I think by and large, this sport is better when he is in it. Tonight, he tries to successfully defend his UFC heavyweight title. Yeah, John Jones at heavyweight is something that we have waited for for a really long time. And to say that he delivered would be a massive understatement as he won the fight the way that he did. John Jones, once again, building on such a strong legacy. You guys relish fight night as much as John Jones. You see him grinning ear to ear as soon as he hits the tunnel. We'll see how it goes in title defense number one. John Jones, one of the greatest of all time, has stepped inside the octagon once again. Johnny Bones is ready to fight. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. We send it inside the octagon, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Muhammad Ali. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. John Bones Jones! Herb Dean, third Great man fight. in the octagon Great. tonight. All right, so back in 1976, Muhammad Ali tried his hand against Antonio Inoki. It was billed as the War of the Worlds. Tonight, though, is his mixed martial arts debut. It comes against the consensus greatest of all time, John Bones Jones. And the only reason you get John Jones in fight number one is because you're Muhammad Ali. You go right to the front of the line. All the things that Ali has accomplished in his life lets him stand amongst the giants. John Jones looks forward to a massive opportunity to cement himself as one of the greatest combat athletes of all time. Good work from the top here by Jones. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. He's having his way with him here. And he's back to his feet. Good sign for him there. It's a huge knee to the body. Throwing that jab, no good. Left punch is clean, followed by a right. 
Jones leaning on the kicking game here tonight, DC. Pretty good strategy early. And that is usually what he leads with. He's a great kicker. He's a guy that has a variety of kicks. Spinning kicks, knees, side kicks. He kicks in so many ways that you never truly know where he's coming from. Down defense is there. Ooh, big shot land. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Connected with a solid strike there. All right, so again, he shoots for a takedown here. Looks like he entered pretty well, but once again, not able to take the opposition down. Just a great idea of what was in front of him by the opponent. He knew that he would have to defend multiple takedowns to this point. He has done that. And if I'm a teacher, he's got an A-plus in takedown defense. He tries to work it into a takedown. Straight punch is good. Right on the button. To the body now, that one won't land. Oh, Five yeah. minutes in the books. Deep breath, relax. Great job out there. I'm proud of you. That's the way you dominate someone on the ground. This guy is ready to be put away. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights, DC. And if you like Muay Thai, you like knee strikes, that was the round for you. Yeah, that was a great round. You can see how well-versed he is in using all weapons that are available to him. He hits elbows. He uses punches, kicks. But his knees have improved to the point that he can dictate and control around by using just those. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, here we go with round two. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. Even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. They're so evenly matched, and they're going to do that. Mohamed gets up. He is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground. But he worked hard there to get back to the feet. Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight. And if you're trying to slow your opponent down, mission accomplished so far. When you can land that many leg kicks. Ooh! Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish him. He rocked him. He hurt him bad. He couldn't find that one. Oh! Yeah, he hurt him real bad. He still hurt him. This work, guys. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Ooh, gotta be careful taking too many of those leg kicks. No wasted motions on those kicks. There's no tell. Nice shot there by the champ. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Oh, nice land there by Johnny Bones. Mike Wicklejohn told me before the fight, you haven't seen 50% of what John Jones does in the gym and starting to show you some of those new wrinkles here tonight. Ali gets stunned there by that stiff jab. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Jones gets crushed with that hook. I mean, over and over, he is taking these strikes to the head. 45 seconds remain in the round. Tried to land the punch, but a swing and a miss by Ali. 
Nice job blocking that punch. And there's a takedown attempt. Ten minutes in the books. Heading back to the corner now. Muhammad Ali's got a nasty cut above the eye. Cut man has his work to do here in advance of round five. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. Ready to fight. Ready. Good. Round three of a possible five. All right, so back to back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximized those 60 seconds on the This is what happens when you two very skilled, very evenly matched fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it going into the next round. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. On a shot. There you go, single leg. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Well, as my favorite rap group Onyx would say, stick and move. Right, beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a pass. So a combination of these here in the clinch. They all ran into the body there. Nice work by Jones. Oh. This is big. That's big. Just misses with the right. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Just missed with that right hand. Jones' nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. to avoid the punch there. Nice slip by Ali. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Big shot to the head. Muhammad Ali's body getting all sorts of bruised up on that right side now. by the champ. Got his guard pass. All oh, submission attempt here. He's fighting. He wants his badly. Oh, that Darce choke is tight. Nice transition. He's got him flat on his back. 15 seconds. Ground and pound strike there now. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, DC, we'll get a few clips of the damage done in that previous round. That eye continues to be the main target. I mean, he is getting hit in this position, and it's all about now where is the cut? Is it above the eye? Is it below the eye? But every time you get hit in that area, it is going to sting, and the bleeding will then cause issues to your sight. He's got to change something. You ready to fight? You ready? We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five times. Yeah, that punch was blocked. 
try to establish that jab. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh! oh now he's back up. Ali's taking aim at that cut right now, and hard to blame him, right? Might as well continue to target that area and see if you might get a referee or even a doctor to intervene here. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it showed. This is a very evenly matched fight. Big round and pound. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood start to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him, whether or not he's reaching forward, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. You gotta start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. Nice positional control here. There once again, strong work here by Jones. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. Oh, what do we got here? Looks like an arm triangle attack. Oh, looks like that submission's almost locked in. It's starting to get pretty deep here. The arm triangle's getting very close. What he's got to do now is get to the opposite side of the body. He's got to get his body on the side of the lock and get the finish. Look at how a titty is to finish the sub. Oh, he bails on the submission now. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. Oh, he's got him in the crucifix now. A lot of body weight from the top position. If you're on bottom here, this is not a good place to You be. have got to free one arm. You cannot worry about both of them. Get one free and then start like building that. towards doing something else. But the first step is to get a arm free to start trying to be able to defend yourself. You have nothing blocking your face when you're in this position. Ali's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is. Oh. Now. Stop, stop, stop. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four, 20 minutes in the books. All right, heading back to the corner, and Muhammad Ali's eye has looked a whole lot better, DC. We'll see what the cut man can do to sort of stem the tide with the swelling, but if he's not able to get it to come down, that eye could swell shut. Well, if you're the replay guy, a lot to like in that previous round. A lot of damage being inflicted. Yeah, I mean, and look at the swelling now, John. He wasn't doing what he needed to do to move his head, and he's paying for it. You cannot allow for an elite-level mixed martial artist to connect at that rate and think that you will not be wearing the damage. He's wearing it now. I'm interested to see what changes he makes to give himself an opportunity. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Ali. This guy cannot miss the head with his strikes. Muhammad Ali gets touched by that leg kick attack. He avoid that left hand. here and back to his feet back and forth we go oh nice slip there to avoid the punch by Ali oh with the straight. Nice job there by Ali. Checks the right kick. Three minutes now to go to decide this one. Hook to the head there by Ali. Well, don't get mad, get even, right? He got stunned by his opponent earlier in the round. He's clearly been losing since. Mentally, it appears as though he's checked out. Already. A lot easier said than done. And his opponent has the power that he possesses it's hard for him to say, you know what? I'm going to take one to give one. 
He's got to either go south. Oh. Oh. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Nice defense here. Single leg takedown attempt will not materialize. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand. Oh, my God. Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point, right? You think he's got to go in and just get him out of there. Well, he's trying, but he gets a little bit... Oh! Goes down again! Might get the TKO here. Nicely done. 30 seconds now to go on the round. All right, so a wise decision by him to continue to attack that cut, and it's getting wider by the minute. It's getting wider by the minute. This guy is, is, a, is a fantastic fighter, and he's as smart as they come. So the moment that cut opened up, you knew that that would become his focus. And there's the final horn. We go to the scorecards, one of the greatest fights that we have seen all year. All right, so the fight goes the championship distance, and you may want to get the black and gold colors out. We're getting a new champion tonight. He turned in a beautiful striking display tonight. This is one of the best performances that we have seen from a challenger in a really long time. He relied on the striking. He understood that that's where he had the advantage. He used all of his advantages, and I feel like we will hear and new very shortly. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 50-44, 48-46, and 49-45. Declare the winner by unanimous decision and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Muhammad All right, so how about it? There is a new baddest man on the planet. There he is.